Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. I was speaking to a friend and we were talking about such an interesting discussion today that I would like to share it with you all here today. It's about whether we have to die before Mashiach comes. And the answer to that is two parts of the answer, because there's a verse that says that everyone must taste death before the resurrection of the dead, before God revives the dead. So to answer this first, we have to understand there's two main phases of when Mashiach comes. First, the Mashiach will come, and there will be miracles, of course, but the miracles will be more involved in the way through nature. There'll be a revelation of God, we'll have peace on earth, we'll have all the prophecies, but it will, the world will still conduct itself in a, in a similar manner, so to speak, to, to the way it does now. Of course, there'll be miracles, and it'll be the Messianic era, and it'll be revelations of God, but it will be in a way, a settled way through nature. It won't be like a complete change of the nature of the world. But then there's a later phase which has the re resurrection of the dead. And before that, there's a verse that says everyone must taste death before they're being be revived. But the Rebbe explains that actually we can fulfill this. In this generation, we're able to fulfill this with not actually dying, but rather dying, the evil within us dying, killing our evil in desires. And by killing our evil traits, that can be constituted as considered as if you taste of death. And then we won't need to actually die, and we could just live forever and ever, eternal life, with the coming of the Mashiach. So this is something exciting and to, to really want to be a part of. That whenever you, you have evil desires, try to eradicate these evil desires and try to improve yourself and to overcome these desires and to transform the, the, the darkness into light. And there will be no need for anyone to pass away, God willing. And we're in this final generation. God willing, it's going to take place in any single moment now. We're going to enter the revelation of God, the Messianic era. God bless you all. May we see this today.